not under any obligation to be perfect mm. right yeah. your incompetencies <laughs> your deficiencies are all welcome they are a part of the game hmm? mm. just be alive alert and then even out of your most botched up action something auspicious will happen like shabri she doesn't know how to welcome the king so all she can do is taste the fruit and give it to him it's a very botched up action yet something auspicious is happening out of it you are imperfect all right but even in your imperfection there is a lot of perfection be sure of that the demand for perfection is a great great arrogance of the ego to demand this out of yourself that i must be perfect is a great arrogance of the ego how can i be content with anything less than perfection i deserve the ultimate no you don't deserve that we are all right as you are and in that there is perfection getting it do whatever you must and dedicate it to perfection dedicate all your imperfections to the perfect i could do only this much the body is limited and thought is limited and the body could move only this much the words could express only this much now the rest is upon you take care take care i am imperfect and i know that fully well for me there are only 24 hours in a day i have only two hands i have a mind that can and have only this much of information and i use words that are so limited in their communication so i can do only this much now the remaining is upon you you take and this perfection this is perfection what do you think you will be perfect and what will you look like in your perfection lord krishna with a thousand arms 40000 feet tall you will be this not even 6 feet tall overweight not very pretty balding having bad breath <laughs> an uncertain mood all those things that come with a body and a mind these are the necessary accompaniments of the body the mind i am perfect and what do you do the first thing in class you belch mr perfect is belching and if that was not sufficient then mr perfect comes up with a loud and incredibly smelly fart and then you say now i am perfect and now i can teach the students this is what you are as a body a mass of flesh which has its own mechanics malmutra what do you mean by perfection imperfection will always be there enjoy it live with it don't identify with it live with it don't identify with it why should you be so harsh upon yourself tell me hmm is it also you were harsh? once a rabbit okay. hmm and the rabbit was always being chased by dogs okay the rabbit saw two or three friend rabbits being killed in front of its own eyes by dogs okay. now the rabbit always has to be alert that dogs might be around mm -hmm. suspicion is there as the very substance of the rabbit's mind something is wrong somewhere hmm 
the nose is always twitching the ears are always trying to sense something and you are once a rabbit you are carrying forward that suspicion from there why are you being harsh on yourself it's none of your fault it's all right the rabbit had some experiences and those experiences have come to you here dna what can you do why be so harsh par tum dekhte ho even on the name of spirituality also log ki are in patterns se nijat paani hai in patterns pe kaam karna hai remember to independence ya freedom ko ramanna maharshi died of cancer ramkrishna paramhans died of cancer the patterns of the body can not be broken so feelings are also the pattern, the pattern of the mind mind one can disidentify that is possible but if you think the patterns will go away what breathing is a pattern break it every pattern is spontaneous ma'am show me a pattern which does not appear to be spontaneous breathing is a pattern digestion is a pattern day and night are a pattern all these are patterns what we call as this being human is a pattern you cannot break it you can stand at distance from it which is all right which is all right hmm? the buddha died of a stomach disorder identifying with anything is equally disastrous identifying with hatred is disastrous identifying with affection is equally disastrous and identifying with bliss what you don't identify with bliss you are in bliss that's another matter when you identify with something it's always from some center bliss is the dissolution of that center you don't identify with bliss you don't say i'm identifying with the truth you are in truth you don't identify with the truth hmm? 